we don't understand it. You know, like how someone could just like take someone's life over something so silly. An Aurora man is behind bars tonight in connection with Friday's deadly shooting of Dexter Perkins, a well-known and well-loved man in, Wheaton, in the Wheaton community. Good evening, I'm Eric Rung in for Taman. And I'm Jackie Bang. WGN's Jewel Hillary joins us now with the latest Jewel. Hi, Jackie and Eric. According to his closest friends, Dexter Perkins, a father in his 30s, didn't meet a stranger. They say he cared deeply about family and friends and loved to celebrate life. Tonight, as friends mourn Dexter's murder, they say their focus is on his family, which includes two young girls. He sees you and is like, hey, I'm so happy that you're there. Jessica Zarnowski is talking about her good friend, Dexter Perkins, who she met in middle school. Just one of the nicest guys. He was super funny and lovable. On Friday morning, Dexter's infectious personality and smile were dimmed when he was fatally shot outside of Rosie O'Reilly's, a pub in unincorporated Wheaton. He's got two little girls that now have to wake up Christmas morning without their dad. Video shot shortly before Dexter was killed shows Dexter walk outside the pub with his arms up. The shooting suspect, Michael Friend, now charged with first degree murder, walks away from Dexter while a second man walks towards Dexter and the two start to scuffle. Moments later, investigators say Friend returns and fires two warning shots in the air with a nine millimeter Glock. Hey guys, right now. Authorities say after those two shots, Dexter allegedly approached the other man, and that's when police say Friend shot Dexter to death. Ring video in the area captures the sound of multiple shots fired. Childhood friend Scott Taylor and Dexter knew each other more than 30 years. And like so many, Scott is heartbroken over the sudden murder of one of his best friends, who he described as a non-confrontational friend who was more like a brother. The amount of time that he took out of his daily schedule to check on people is um, I think something that we all take with us. Scott says Dexter focused on building friendships and spreading love and positivity. His murder leaves an aching void. Our focus as a community is to now watch after his daughters and his family. Like many tonight, Jessica is trying to understand why someone who was so loved was taken in such a violent way. It's not right. And we're going to miss him so much. A GoFundMe page set up to support Dexter's family has already raised more than $40,000. You can find that link by clicking on this story on our website, WGNTV.com. Also, authorities say shooting suspect Michael Friend's arraignment is set for January 18th. Jackie, back to you.